Greetings. <laughs> greetings. Yeah, greetings. Posh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely persisting down outside. We've had 24 hours of non-stop rain. I think there's another 24 hours predicted as well, isn't there? Yeah, I think yeah. so, at least. Uh, we've just come back from a walk with the dogs and everything's soaking wet. The dogs are in disgrace at the back. They get shut when it's really wet like this. We shut them at the back of the boat for half an hour or so and uh, we've got an old towel up there to wipe their feet and dry them off before we get them in, haven't we? Yeah. So, they're not happy. No, they'll be all right. So, we're back in the water. We've had a, a week of it, haven't we? It's been so mad. But um, we're really pleased with the way things have gone. We got so much more done, didn't we, than we thought we were going to do. Yeah. It's, uh, it was great getting out of the water, a bit nerve-wracking, seeing your boat being pulled <laughs> up. It wasn't lifted, it was pulled out um, on a winch. Um, and it was great. It was, it was pulled up onto blocks, I suppose, about three feet off the ground, wasn't it? Two or three feet off yeah, the ground. Yeah, a couple of feet off the ground. And we were then given some ladders to get on and off the boat. <laughs> Dogs wondered what the hell was going on, didn't they, at first? You know? Yeah. Because you are, when you get to the back of the boat, you're six, Ten foot, seven well, foot up, seven, about seven yeah, foot, I think, yeah, probably. Yeah. And uh, it's a long way up and you have to really have your wits about you getting on and off the boat. Especially if you've come back from the clubhouse at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> There's Nigel, our brother-in-law, who's driven from Derbyshire to come and give us a hand for the day. Doing a great job. We were just going to be happy if we got the blacking done, weren't we? And a bit of yeah. sanding down of places and that. But uh, the blacking just took no time at all, did it, really? Between the three of us, it was my brother-in-law Nigel came to help. We did make the most of it. As soon as we got out of the water, we were pressure hosing the boat down, pressure washing the boat down immediately, and managed to get the first coat of blacking on the first day. Now, I've, I have been banned <laughs> from handling the paintbrush <laughs> all over again. <laughs> it seemed to be all right when the blacking needed doing, and I had to oh, get yeah, up in well, the wind hatch. Right with, and with a roller and a bit of blacking, you're like, all right. But I'm not allowed to have any red paint on my brush now. <laughs> no way, no way. It's fine. Yeah, I think you engineered that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what are you <laughs> Can we have a bit more work done, please, and a lot less jollity? <laughs> so, nearly the end of day one, and we've pressure hosed the hull back, got rid of all the grot on the hull, and uh, sanded up to the gunnel. Almost finished that, a bit more to do, so we can put some primer and undercoat and paint that. And good old Nigel is. Uh, Cracking on with the blacking in between showers. So I've had to stop doing the sanding because it's raining. Ho hum. So come round the front at the bow and we've uh, sanded down where the old name was, Tway Blade. And uh, you can see it's obviously been painted on twice in the past. Yeah, and the people at Stafford Boat Club were just amazing, weren't they? Just oh. had such a fun time with them. As soon as we got out of the water, they couldn't do enough for us. They were helping us. You know, they looked at the boat, saw the rudder was loose, you know, rattling around, so that was fixed, and various other odd jobs. Chopped the end of your tiller off for you. Chopped the end of my tiller <laughs> off, because it was too long on the back. I was given lifts every a half an hour or so. Do you want any shopping? We're going to the shops. We'll take you up to the shops and we'll take you to... Somebody took me to Midland Chandler's at one point because I needed yeah. to get some stuff. Just could not do enough. And even on the first night, we went into the bar and didn't realise it was cash only. And the man behind the bar gave us £20 just to, do, to buy our drinks until we yeah. could get some cash.
day two of the boat in dry dock and we're really pleased with the progress we've made. We've uh, jet washed the hull and managed to get the first coating of blacking on there and done a heck of a lot of sanding, uh, which we weren't expecting to do just yet. We thought we'd uh, not be able to do that for a couple of days, but we cracked on and uh, managed to get the most of the top half from from the hull there to the gunnel sanded off. And there's certain areas that need going over again, but um, we're not going down to the bare metal all the way along, just uh, doing what we can. Make it look a lot better and cleaner. So really pleased. How's it going, Fran? Fine, I think it's going really good. We're Got... really getting on with it, aren't we? We'll be on day three, three now. Um, two coats of blacking on. You've done really well sanding down a lot of the paintwork, haven't you? So we're just now treating some of these bare metal spots with the fur tan, which will convert the metal into, or the rust into solid metal and prevent further rust from forming. And it um, looks like this, when it's been treated, it turns it black, doesn't it? So it's ready to be wiped over with a cloth and uh, put primer on. This lock feature was created in 2005 and the gates come from Detmore Lock in memory of previous members of the Staffordshire Boat Club. But look at this. Wow. It's the moment of truth. First of all, the 8th of June, and I'm wearing a bloody woolly hat. It's been freezing all day and wet. So, moment of truth, here goes. Taking off the masking. Oh, wow. Look at that. On Saturday, our last day of being out of the water, the sun has got the audacity to shine now after two days of rain non stop. Anyway, I've got a roller in my hand. I'm going to black another coat uh, below the waterline just for my own peace of mind. And uh, that's it. The boat's going back in in the morning. But all's not lost, because good old Francis just bought me a glass of wine. Cheers.
all drawing. When's going up? What's organised? We don't do organised. We organized. don't do all planning. We don't do planning. <laughs> this is why we live this life. So that's it, that's all we've been up to, um, which is quite a lot actually, isn't it really? Thank you for watching. So give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Or a thumbs down if you need to. If you, if you should. <laughs> And also hit that little bell icon by the side of subscribe that uh, will notify you when a new video comes up. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Thank you. Catch you next time. Bye.